Welcome! This is the first lesson of 1992 online video tutorial series. In this video you will learn how to design the floor plan, placing items with attachments and links, changing the dimension of the items, to see the 3D image of your project, close and load it. For further information you can always access the help system. Having the cursor on 1992 desktop, press the F1 button on your keyboard and will appear the help system window. We start by choosing the new project option. It brings up the catalog selection dialog with the available catalog groups. In this dialog you can choose the preferred catalog groups to use in our project. So we select the Kids and 2012 group which contains the following catalogs. We press OK or cancel to continue with the default choices. Now we are ready to draw the floor plan. The cursor appears as a pencil. We left click on the bottom left of the screen to start the design of the first wall towards the top. Right on the control panel we can fill in the wall dimensions in millimeters. So if we want to create a 5 meter wall we type 5000 in the length field and press the button enter to save the dimension. Then start draw the next wall that intersects the previous one at a 90 degrees angle. The length of second wall is 7 meter. Continue the wall designing and draw the third wall in the same dimension with the opposite one. To connect with first wall, click the start point and then to stop wall design function press the escape button on your keyboard. At this point we can save the project. Left click the home icon and then select save project and name it my kitchen part 1. Now we are ready to place the items. We are going to start with the structural elements and more specifically windows, doors and columns. In the control panel we can see the groups of catalogs that we had chosen at the beginning. Manage the catalog groups and items from the control panel on the right side of screen based on the Windows Explorer management. Double left click or enter to open a category, escape to close it and return to previous step or select the preferred category from the address bar. So we double click on the group structural elements in order for the item categories to appear. Double click the category columns and then choose tall column. We can change the dimensions of the items before or after placement. So right click on the column and select edit. We will set the width and depth to be at 800 and 560 respectively. Press enter to save the changes and then press the button placement. Now left click between the dotted lines and the first wall. By moving the cursor we change the position of the column on the wall. We bring the column in the edge of the wall and by left clicking we place it in that place. Then we back to the catalog structural elements, selecting it from the address bar or by pressing escape. We select Windows subcategory and Windows again and more specifically the item Inox frame. We will place it on the wall 1 by left clicking it. Left click again where you want to place the item. At this point it is useful to note that we can place, edit or translate items either on floor plan, 2D selection, or on 3D, perspective, elevation, top view. Keeping pressed the left or the right mouse button on the project, we can translate, rotate or focus the camera to adjust the image. We can alternate the selection of status by pressing the respective icon. From the catalog structural elements again, select balcony doors, and then balcony doors and the item inox frame. Place it on the wall 2 on 200 mm distance from the right. We will place now the kitchen items. Select the group kitchen 2012 and open the catalog kitchen. We find a rich item collection in the 1992 libraries all sorted in specific categories. Here we can view all item categories available. Double click the category base units to place the respective items. We first put item in the corner of the first and second wall. So we open the category corner base units and from the category rectangular select the item with left door in width 19. 
we place it near the corner of first and second wall by left clicking there. Let's put the base units on the first wall. We can select items from a category list with favorite ones. Click the arrow towards the bottom on the right of address bar and the list with favorites will appear. Select Sync Units. Open the category with door and select the item in dimension 120. From the favorite list again we choose washing machines and select the item with controls in width 45. From the category base unit select bottle racks opens base units, select the first subcategory, the one with the bottle racks and then the item in width 15. From the general category kitchen select the subcategory semicolons from where we will select the hob unit in width 90. Then from the subcategory columns we will select and place the refrigerator, the one with the big door lower, select the code 60 left and place it. Now we will place the base units on the second wall. From the category base units we select drawers plus deep drawers. Select and place the item in width 90. Continue by placing two identical items on the same wall. We will change category and from base unit select the subcategory door and the category with sliding door. Select and place the item in width 60. Moving on now to display the elevation of the second wall and place the wall units there. Hover the mouse over the wall and then press elevation icon. From kitchen catalog select wall units. Then door plus glass door or aluminium glass lift up door the category with two doors and more specifically dimension in width 19. To place it accurately above this item select the marker and left clicking it. We will place one more same item above this base unit but first we need to remove the plate rack. To do this right click on the item and select links. Now the list with the links of this item is displayed. Select plate rack, press delete and then ok. Now place the item accurately above this base unit. From the category lift up door select the item with one door height 72 in width 60 and place it from the left of glass door. Place one more same item in this place. Then we will place the hood. From the appliances catalog select metallic hood. From the category with width 90 select the code 9 and left clicking the wall to place it. Finally we are going to place the hot plates on top of the base unit. So we right click on it and select attachments. From the appliances catalog we select hobs for unit 90 and more specifically the code 3. Press add and then ok. Now we will save our project. To close it click on home icon and select close active project. To open the project click on home icon and select load project. You can find the saved project in the default save location which is the folder jobs. So, our project appears like this. Thanks for your time.